did it, went full blown Christmas, and I am so happy about it. <laughs> Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. Welcome to my channel if you've just found me. I've actually been doing this for a couple of years, so I've got a lot of great other Christmas decor and content from past years that you can peruse around to hopefully inspire you for this season. But I really do hope that you subscribe and uh, come back every single week. I do new videos every single Wednesday. And I am more excited about Christmas this year than I've ever been because I finally got a real tree. <laughs> Okay, it's not a real tree. Um, it's just a real tree in comparison to the two foot tall tree that I've been putting up for the last 10 years since I've moved out. It's kind of sad. But now, now I've got a seven foot tall fake tree. And I was so excited to decorate it until I realized that I don't have a lot of decorations for it. So I decided to make some beautiful garlands for it. And I went with two different types. I think they pair really well together. But I wanted to showcase a uh, couple of different ways that you could do this. There's a lot that you can do with garlands and they can be pretty expensive. So they're easy, they're fun to make. You can just pop on a Christmas movie and kind of, you know, watch away. And maybe if you already follow me on Instagram, you've gotten a sneak peek at this. So be sure to follow me there if you want any sneak peeks for upcoming DIYs or to just connect with me. But let's get in to these DIYs. All right, let's start with the cheap one, which is the oranges. So you need a bag of oranges, wax or parchment paper will work, a baking sheet and a cutting board. So uh, all you really have to do is cut the oranges into thin slices. And I would say uh, around a quarter to an eighth of an inch is best. The thinner, the quicker they are going to dry in the oven and they do take quite some time in there, but really try to make sure that they're even so they all bake evenly. You Line your baking sheet with your wax or parchment paper and then just lay your orange slices on top. Don't bother with the ends because when it's just the rind, it's really hard to actually puncture when we're all done. So get them on there, squeeze them in, doesn't matter, they're going to shrink and do as many as you can at a time because it does take so long. So in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, I burned my first batch. I had read that it was uh, anywhere between five and six hours in the oven. Well, this one was only in for four and a half hours and they turned out like this. But you know what? It's actually how a grapefruit looks if you do this because you can do this with any kind of citrus fruit. So I did a second batch and I monitored it a little better and I would say it was probably in the oven for three and a half to four hours instead. So if you keep an eye on it and maybe pull out certain pieces periodically, you'll be good. They need to be in there for at least three hours at 250 Fahrenheit. Once they're all done, you can just string them onto something. I'm using some thin jute here with a very large needle that I have. If you don't have a large needle, use a regular sewing needle. Fishing line would work great for this. And I punctured it through the front and then strung it through the back and then back through the back. So I just found that it actually laid a little better when I punctured it twice, like you see. And one side will just be on the back where the jute is showing. I would suggest on either end to create these kind of loops. It just it makes it a lot easier to be able to hang it however you want to do it. So make them as long or short as you want. Our next one is the pricier one because these wooden beads I think cost me around $16. I was only able to create one strand. There's a hundred wooden beads. Uh, they were 20 millimeters if you're wondering. So I just strung them onto some jute and then I'm going to create some tassels. This is super simple with just some yarn using my hand as a template. I wrapped it around about 15 times and then you slide it off. You grab a piece of yarn and tie at the top of one end and then you cut the opposite end. And then you're going to create another tie and just wrap that around the top and that creates your little tassel. And we now have a piece that you can tie it onto the strand. So trim off any excess you might have. And then I just added these tassels to every 10 beads or so. And uh, that was really all there was to that one. So I didn't end up putting this garland on my Christmas tree because I didn't have enough with the one strand, but I thought it looked great, kind of styled across my TV stand. So I kind of made that a little bit like a mantle. If you're wondering, there's also some DIYs in there from last year, like my little gnome. And then here on the Christmas tree, I used an entire bag of oranges. I believe there was six in the bag and I had plenty of garland for the entire tree. 
And I just thought I'd let you know that this uh, tree is actually styled with a lot of dollar store items. The tree topper is pretty much all dollar store products. Um, I've got a lot of little tiny gold dollar store bulbs that I've purchased mixed in with some pine cones, gold ribbon from the dollar store, and then a few really nice kind of white bulbs and ornaments from years past. So please let me know which one was your favorite garland. I uh, hope you enjoyed this DIY. Please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new one. Cheers.